Hey guys, it's Julia. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing a stationary haul. Yay. I don't think these types of videos will be super common around these parts because I usually don't buy a lot of stationary all at once. <laughs> but the funny thing about being into bullet journaling or really any hobby is that for the holidays, everybody is pretty much on the same page. So I basically ended up with a lot of awesome stationery and I just wanted to share if you're in the market for something new or if you're like me and just like checking out what's out there. I must say I was super surprised and giddy really about one of the things. So stay around to be amazed. Also, you guys, we're right over a thousand subscribers, which is just stunning. So in celebration, I've got a special 1K giveaway that I will talk about a little bit later in the video. So we're gonna head over to my desk and we'll get into the stationery haul. The first thing we're looking at are these lovely washi tapes from the washi tape shop. And this is actually my first anything from the washi tape shop. So I'm super excited and obviously having some problems getting into the package. I'm on the struggle bus here, but it's the three piece Kyoto Waves Gilded set. And I'll leave links to all of this stuff we're looking at today down in the description. So these are all different sizes as far as width. They are 15, 20, and 30 millimeters respectively. And yeah, these are just lovely. The white is probably my favorite. The pattern is raised on that one, which I absolutely love. And where it's not raised, it's a bit more transparent, which gives it a really delicate feel. Love how neutral these are, and I'm looking forward to working them into spreads. And you can't, I'm so sorry guys, you can't see the white very well on camera, but just trust me, just trust me, it's really lovely. Moving along, the next thing I wanna show you are these Sharpie S Gel Gel Pens. They are one millimeter tip size, but I also have the 0.7, and I've been using those along with my Muji Gel Pen for writing in everyday tasks in my bullet journal. There's a finer 0.5 millimeter size as well that's available, but Highly recommend these. They are super smooth and reliable. I literally don't even think about skipping whenever I pick these up to use. And the grip is comfortable and they dry pretty quickly. So really no complaints about these pens. They're usually the first ones I grab if I want to write something. And I'm just doing a quick pen test here just to show you guys how smoothly it glides across the paper and to show the difference between the 0.7 and the one millimeter tip. And the next bit of stationery that I was gifted were these really neat zig dot markers. I have them in pastel and in metallic and I'm excited to use these in future spreads because other than washi tape, adding little dots and sparkles to spreads is one of my favorite quick touches that instantly fills out just about any theme or idea. So these pastel colors are gorgeous and literally right up my alley and they are dual tipped. One side is the dotted bit of the marker and you can vary the dot size by using more or less pressure. And the other side is a 0.7 millimeter felt tip. So I'm just going to do a quick swatch situation here on this white paper. So the color quality is similar to the mild liners, high, mild liner highlighters. So I'm excited about these, I really love them. The metallic ones are the same sort of deal, but the smaller tip is a one millimeter, a little thicker than the pastel pens. Let's do a swatch test on black paper for this set. So these are coming out really bright, really like milky smooth. And for the darker colors, they take a little bit longer to show up, just you write it and it looks like it's not gonna come out and then they just come to life. It's 
pretty crazy. Yeah, I'm really impressed with these, like so much so that I had to write wow right beside them. So yeah, these are amazing. Could also be fun to do some like pointillism style illustration with these also. So thumbs up. <laughs> up next are these Pentel sign brush pens and they come in a pack of 12 but I do think they're sold as individual pens as well. The color line is pretty basic, primary colors with a nice gray, silver, and gold thrown in there as well. And I'm having a bit of trouble getting it out of here as well, struggle bus. <laughs> but as I do the swatch on these, I do wanna point out that they are comparable to the Tombow Fudonosuke brush pens, the hard tip ones in particular. So you get a little bit more control going from thin to thick. I think these would be fantastic if you're a beginner when it comes to lettering, or if you just prefer the harder tip on brush pens. And yeah, I feel like these are a bit finer than the Tombow Fudonosuke pens. So you may be able to pull off smaller brush lettering headers. So that's exciting. Expect to see more of these in the future in the plan with me videos and just around. Yeah, they're gonna be homies. So we're gonna bro up. <laughs> So up next, you guys know I get down on the acrylographs. November and January's plan with me videos were mostly done with these and I do love them for the most part. They get a little testy with me sometimes, but I was gifted the warm and cool fall collection in 0.7 millimeter along with a few beautiful journals. And one is from Notebook Therapy as well. This is my first Notebook Therapy journal, anything. So I'm excited to have one of these journals in my little posse. I didn't wanna to dive too deep into these pens since you guys have seen me use them plenty and I did want to show off the swatches of the new colors in these collections because they're new to me and you may be interested. Okay, so the last couple of things we're gonna check out in this haul is just this gorgeous soft cover journal made by Elon Books. It's 17 by 20 centimeters, so almost square, and there are 120 pages of Italian Fabricana or something like that paper, which sounds super fancy, but I legit have no idea what that means. Anyway, the pages are sort of this cream color with these stunning rough pages, and the paper itself is 180 GSM, super textured, and I'm thinking it'll work well with watercolors. I actually have no idea, but I'm about to try them out with these color pearl, color pearl color watercolors, woo. These are just feeding my metallic soul. So I need to do a metallic something soon in my journal. Let me know what you guys wanna see if you have any ideas, but I'm gonna try these in this journal to see how it holds up. And just because I'm curious, I'm also gonna swatch them out on a blackout sheet. Funny story about maybe even a hack for these water brush pens. So eBay every now and again gives you like these random $5 off coupons. Just so you know, you can use those on whatever. So I, I specifically use those coupons to get these water brushes for free. So just, just a hack there. So I started swatching these out and the light colors didn't show up at all. So I just went in and did the darker colors and you can see that they have like a little bit of shine to them. The colors are really pretty. And I'm hoping that these light colors show up on the dark paper because if not, I'm very confused. I'm gonna try them here again and nope, there's nothing there, just some water. All right, cool. <laughs> but yeah, there's no buckling well there's a little bit of buckling but no bleeding very very little buckling so this will be great for a watercolor journal all right i'm super interested to know what is going to happen on this dark paper dipping it in there yep there we go there you have it you guys i was shook by this and it just gets better. What? Everything looks white in the watercolor palette thing. Everything just looks white. So for you to start painting and it comes out these beautiful metallic colors, 
Ugh, I'm in love. I am in love with these watercolors. Look there. So I was so pleased with that. I just went ahead and did the darker colors as well. And I'm glad I did because they came out just as beautiful. Oh, that gold though, you guys. I seriously sat there and just stared at it for a little bit and I edit that out because I'm sure you guys don't wanna see me just stare at it. But then I went over it with a white acrylograph just to see how it was writing on top of it and it was just fine. It's just so pretty. These are great. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this haul and I pretty much loved everything. So we have giveaway business to get to and celebration of a thousand subscribers. That even feels weird to say, but in celebration, I'm giving away an unused Archer and Olive A5 Neapolitan notebook. So you get the white papers, the craft, the blackout pages all in one, which is super exciting. And the cover is pretty badass. So yeah, one winner will get this notebook as well as some sticker packs that are currently only available through my Patreon. I'll leave full details of the giveaway down in the description, but quick rundown. To enter, you need to be subscribed to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see from me in 2021. The contest is open internationally and yeah, good luck. And thanks so much for the love you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And if you like this video, here are a couple more I think you would enjoy.